Hey guys, the BA1 bivalent COVID booster shot just became available in Canada. A lot of people are asking, should they get their booster now or should they wait potentially for the BA5 bivalent booster, which is available in the US or even potentially drive down to the US and get that? How do they compare? What should people be doing? Let's talk about that. So the first question is, why doesn't Canada have the BA5 specific booster? Why is it just in the US? Uh, the simple answer to that question is that the companies did not actually apply to Canada for approval. They went ahead and applied for the BA1 bivalent booster, um, but didn't until just now apply for the BA5 bivalent booster and Canada approved BA1 and ordered millions of doses. The reason they probably didn't apply and the reason we went ahead and ordered and committed to the BA1 bivalent booster as our fall booster dose is that there are no human data for the BA5 bivalent booster. It's actually based on rodent data. Now, the FDA in the US took the approach that mRNA is a platform. We've had billions of people who have gotten mRNA vaccines. They're safe, they're very effective. And in order to keep up with this mutating virus, we need to be able to tweak our vaccine and assume that it will continue to work well because it is a platform. It's just like what we do with the flu shot every year, we tweak it. We don't test it in human trials, we release it, and then we know eventually after the fact how effective it was that particular flu season. So they've come around to a thinking with mRNA vaccines and COVID vaccines that we can tweak it in a similar way. Whether Canada takes that approach and Health Canada approves it in the same way or not is up for debate. So if you're waiting for a BA5 bivalent booster, there's a risk there. Uh, and if you're thinking about going down to the US to get one, it's important to think about how, how much benefit there is in a BA5 bivalent booster versus a BA1 bivalent. Unfortunately, we don't know the answer to that question. The reason for that is that BA5 data are entirely in rodents. It does trigger a strong, specific immune response in rodents, but we also know that the BA1 bivalent vaccine triggers a strong immune response in humans, including protection against BA5, because again, it's protecting against the Omicron family. So it's kind of like what we used to say in the early days of the vaccine campaign, which is the best vaccine is the one in your arm. I'm saying the same thing to my patients now, which is if you're due for a booster, the best booster is the first one you can get, get yourself boosted. And the way you figure out whether you need to get one is to just remember that all of us over time have a waning in our immunity, which means that if it's been five or six months or so since your last boost in immunity, whether that was from a vaccine dose or a natural infection, you're having a decline in that immunity and it's probably time to go out and get a booster to increase your protection from severe disease. So it matters less how many doses you've gotten, which doses you've gotten, which variant you were infected with. What matters most is how long it's been since you were last boosted by a natural infection or a shot of vaccine. And if it's been long enough, go ahead and go get the first booster you can get because winter is coming.